the the hardest thing was really uh, worrying that um, you know I'd, I'd been around my kids and worrying that that, that they were going to get it. And once that passed and they didn't, then I was uh, I, I, it was it wasn't terrible. It was like it was like a flu for me. Protect yourself, and by doing that, you're going to protect others. And um, you don't want to. You don't want COVID. You don't. You don't want to have to go through everything that it brings with it. So, I really, really appreciate everybody. I hope everybody has a great morning. Good morning, America. Love you guys. Miss you. See you soon. Bye. I think I'm on like day five or six, and then I felt like I got hit the first time on Friday with like the like first wave of headaches and stuff. It's, uh, it's such a sweet movie. I just wanted to come on and let you know that I just tested positive for COVID-19. COVID was on our set. Um, Kristen got sick. In the past few weeks, I have been one of the victims of COVID. Respecting your communities, and the way you can do that is to by getting tested, wearing a mask. It's definitely been one of the hardest uh, weeks that I've that I've had. I had it, uh, my wife and I had it way back in the winter. Um, you know for a fact, like you were yeah. tested or? Yeah, well, I've had an antibody test only a month ago and I still have those antibodies. This stunning moment, the president left the hospital for a surprise drive-by to see supporters outside. That drew criticism from medical experts and raised serious questions about the risks he was imposing on the Secret Service agents in the car with him. Last week's Rose Garden announcement for his Supreme Court pick, Amy Coney Barrett, a possible super spreader event. The packed crowd shoulder to shoulder, few wearing masks. So far, nine people in attendance testing positive.
For once, the president has tried to downplay the pandemic. I will be right eventually. You know, I said it's going to disappear. I'll say it again. But does it's that going dis to disappear. Does that dis I don't have. To, I don't wear masks like him. Every time you see him, he's got a mask. He could be speaking 200 feet away from it. He shows up with the biggest mask I've ever seen. <laughs> but at 74, his age puts him at higher risk of serious complications from the virus, which has already claimed more than 207,000 American lives. The president's announcement came just hours after news broke that Hope Hicks, one of his closest aides, has also tested positive for COVID-19. Though Hicks tested positive for the virus on Wednesday, President Trump still charged ahead with his plans, knowingly spreading the risk beyond Washington. test the second time I'm not feeling any symptoms or anything and it comes back like two days later and they say I did have the coronavirus you have some residual immunity probably T cells that are being able to protect you we don't know yet we will as we get more experience about how long you protect them. my wife Lauren as well as my two baby girls and myself, we have all tested positive for COVID-19. And I could tell you that this has been one of the most challenging and difficult things we have ever had to endure as a family. And um, and for me personally too as well. And, and, and I've gone through some doozies in the past. I am happy to tell you guys that we as a family are good. We are on the other end of it. We're on the other side. We are no longer contagious and we are, thank God, we are healthy. Just to be safe, quarantined uh, by a COVID-19, and just to take it easy. Uh, I wanted to announce that um, I had COVID-19. It's actually plasma that we're giving. There we go. Here we go. Wow. Liquid gold. Congressman Louis Gohmert announced that he tested positive for the coronavirus. And Congressman Gohmert has openly questioned the use of masks and often been seen not wearing one. And now members of Congress and staffers who came in contact with him are quarantining this morning. And the Hill is stepping up precautions.
I also tested positive for COVID-19, which blew me away. Um, I was what they call asymptomatic. To all the other stuff you have to look out for, if you pass out in the middle of a show on stage, you probably need to get tested. Prayerfully, my symptoms won't get any worse. What they've told me is that I have a low positive. And I found out that I have the antibodies. But instead of covering the pandemic, I was one of the more than one million Americans who did become part of it. George, you testing positive for coronavirus. We're so happy to hear that Allie, who tested positive earlier this month, that Allie is feeling much, much better. And George, I gotta say, a lot of people have been concerned about you, myself included. I, I feel fine, Robin. I actually feel great. I've never had a fever, uh, never had cough, never had shortness of breath, never had chills, any of the classic symptoms you've been reading about. My brother Chris uh, is positive for coronavirus. Found out this morning. The official reentry. I'm back. Had it, just so you know. I'm fully recovered, just so you know. Breaking news out of the UK, Prince Charles has tested positive for coronavirus. Um, and I find myself on the other side of the illness, but still in uh, no less a state of social uh, distance and, and, and general isolation. They've taken a test that has come out positive. He was admitted into intensive care. He was given oxygen and we're told he was there just in case he needed a ventilator. We are now beginning to turn the tide. So look, uh, this morning I, uh, I got some test results back for coronavirus and it came back positive. Yeah, and it sucks. Yesterday, I tested positive for COVID-19. The good news is that I am now considered virus-free. Uh, my required period of self-isolation has ended and I've been released into the wilds of my very own home. 